We are so excited for Josiah and Lauren. We love Lauren. She is such a precious girl. I think of Proverbs 31 and I think of Lauren. She definitely has all of those fruits that you would look for in a godly woman. And I know Josiah feels very honored that you have accepted um, him as your fiance. Looking forward to marrying you <laughs> and uh, starting new life, new journey together. You along that path with me. You may now kiss the bride. I think the biggest adjustment for me was I have to do most of the housework because he's really busy with work that he can't really help me. So I was, I was hoping it was a, a bad nightmare. I'm wishing it was, I was gonna wake up and it, and I'll be fine. from Without a Crystal Ball, welcome back to my channel. Hey, it's February 5th and we have some Duggar tea. Now, we have not spent a lot of time talking about Josiah and Lauren recently and I wanted to start this video with a little bit of a, I wanted to start out the video with sort of a montage of where these two are at and kind of give you an understanding of why we're gonna be talking about this specific issue. Because there's been prevailing rumors for a very long time that Josiah and Lauren are not happy together. Back last year, I think it was in May, there was this article that came out that suggested that Lauren and Josiah's relationship could have been set up by Jim Bob and her dad, Dwight. And it could have been because they say that Josiah was disobedient. And it's never been very clear about Josiah's disobedience, but he did go to the Alert Academy several times. He also went away for a very long period of time. There was a point in time when he actually had a fake Facebook page, but there's never been a lot of understanding about what his disobedience was. There's also been no confirmation that this is actually the truth that Jim Bob set this up. There's been a lot of rumors that Jim Bob arranges these marriages but from people that i have spoken to in this community in fact most friends of the duggars will tell me that the kids do have a choice of, in regards of if they meet someone and they like them and the parents approve that's really their choice if they want to continue on and it's their choice if they want to stay with that person it's their choice if they want to get engaged there's control that the parents take in terms of like what they Put into parameters for the relationship but in the context of like setups from everyone i've talked to there's not a lot of indication that this happens although sometimes i feel like people that are close to them might cover for them or just may not know the whole story because maybe they just don't have all the details a lot of people think he was set up that josh and anna were set up to put out a fire and that was sort of the same idea with josiah and lauren some sort of fire although it was never known what that fire was. So with Josiah and Lauren, there was a lot of happiness in the beginning. Lots of smiles, lots of excitement, lots of cheer. The two of them had a very passionate first kiss. Josiah seemed completely in love with his bride, and the two of them seemed to be on a good trajectory of their relationship. And then they became pregnant with their first child, and Lauren had a miscarriage and following that she had she opened up on the show about her depression I was hoping it was a, a bad nightmare I'm wishing it was I was gonna wake up and, it, and I'll be fine that day we were supposed to go to a wedding it's supposed to be a joyful day um it was the worst day with the miscarriage that brought them into their first year of marriage and on their first anniversary, while many people will be would be celebrating their anniversary, Josiah and Lauren penned a pretty stunning anniversary note to each other that made a lot of people feel like this relationship was on the verge of disaster. She said on the first anniversary, this is what they wrote. I can't believe it's already been a year 
since we said I do. I remember the big day and just how excited we both were about getting married. Oh, the memories. Or we've had more downs than ups than any newly married couple should ever have. We wouldn't trade it for anything. It's our story. We are so blessed. Looking forward to growing old and more in love with you. More downs than ups. Now she had the loss, so that would be a down. I'm not sure what other downs they might have experienced in that first year. So then there was the exciting news that they actually had Bella. And so Bella is actually a year old and she seems to be a light in the life of both of them. So how did this specific setup come to be? On the show, Josiah says that he met her while they were prepping for one of his siblings' weddings. He saw that she was doing some decorations and he asked if he could work with her. Now, I spoke to a source that actually knows both of them, and they said that Josiah had a crush on Lauren for a very long time before Lauren ever had any idea that he was interested in her. So this thought that he was set up by his dad doesn't seem to hold weight to the fact that people around him say that he really liked Lauren for a really long time and that Lauren just didn't get it. And it took her a few minutes to figure it out. And then, they got together and they got married and then they had Bella and a lot of people are confused because no one knows what Josiah does for work and frankly, I don't either. He has a business that's listed as an LLC, but it's not clear what this business does or what they make or if they make anything. And then they have this Instagram that has periods of high activity and then a lot of periods of no activity. Then there's this whole issue about Lauren constantly looking sad, looking depressed, not engaging, not actually speaking to anyone. So here's some more exclusives. A couple days ago, I got a message from one of my subscribers who actually lives in the area with Josiah and Lauren, and she let me know that she actually had an interaction with them. And she said, I ran into Cy and Lauren Duggar this weekend and Lauren was not friendly at all, but Cy was and he was talkative. It's clear that Lauren didn't want to speak to anyone and Cy was doing all of the talking when spoken to. Rude was the best word I could come up with. I always saw her as the sweet, gentle soul, but it's not at all how it came off in our short conversation. I was super let down. And I asked what they meant and they said, I guess based on what I see on TV, she seems kind and sweet. She didn't come off that way at all. Josiah, on the other hand, was friendly and talkative. It was a fluke that we even ran into each other as we were checking out a couple outdoor menus. She claims that when she made a remark that she must be freezing because she was wearing a dress with open toed heels, that she just looked right at her face and walked off. And she said that Josiah looked at her and he laughed and said, yeah, it's just so cold out here. So Lauren said absolutely nothing to this individual and Josiah was friendly. So initially I was like, well, maybe she's just reserved. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Try not, you know, who knows? She was maybe having a bad day. So I was thinking about this, fan, this individual who lives local saying, Lauren was super rude, didn't acknowledge me, walked away, didn't even talk to me. Then you see that when she's in videos at the Duggars, she's often not around any of her sister-in-law. She's not talking to anyone. She doesn't seem engaged with anyone. She seems really quiet or not there. So that had a lot of people thinking, okay, this marriage must be a complete and utter bust. They must be on the verge of divorce. And so when I spoke to someone that actually knows Lauren this week, they told me this, that Lauren is an extremely reserved individual. She doesn't do a whole lot of talking. She's very hard to get to know. And she's actually very socially awkward. So I guess this source claims that the entire Swanson family is pretty awkward in general. And so being in a social environment is not easy for any of them but they didn't say anything about Lauren being rude or Lauren being mean or Lauren doing anything. They actually said that Lauren is the kind of person that likes to help people out and will do things for others. Now, if you remember about a week ago, I did a video about Joy and Carlin and how Miss Lauren went there to help put together Carlin's baby uh, first birthday for her daughter. And she wasn't really super nice about it to Lauren. And I said, does Lauren like have problems getting along with other people? And basically what this person said is that's just how the Bates girls are. 
And that's kind of how Joy is. They can be a little bit snooty, even snotty. I think the word was stuck up. And in fact, that Joy has apparently changed a lot since she has not only married Austin, but gotten a lot closer to Carlin. So I guess my take on how they treated Lauren was not totally off because this person also said that they saw the exact same thing and it would be typical behavior for both of them. So what about the relationship between Saya and Lauren or Sia and Lauren? Are they going to get a divorce? Is the marriage on the rocks? I don't know. And they haven't been posting anything at all on social media. They were seen briefly in Carlin's video and they looked fine but again that's like 20 second clip you really have no idea what's going on there but I don't think it would be fair to say that she has this marriage is going to be on the verge of a divorce the divorce rumors have been swirling ever since that rumor was out that this couple was completely unhappy together and you know I wonder if Lauren has like depression of some sort or if she struggled, because she did open up about having depression following the loss of her baby. And I wonder if she has some sort of underlying mental health issues. And when I did mention that to someone that knows her, they said that that actually could be a really big possibility for her. So again, I don't know what, I highly doubt the two of them are on the verge of divorce, but it seems like their lack of engagement on social media probably has less to do with their unhappiness and more to do with the fact that Lauren is not really keen on attention, doesn't really like to be in the spotlight and is very shy and very reserved. So maybe this whole spotlight is very overwhelming, which actually gives credence and maybe a little bit of push to this rumor that they might be trying to distance themselves from the Duggars. When they had, when Bella's birthday rolled around, the Duggars actually did not do a post on their main feed. Instead, they did a quick Instagram story that was disappeared within 24 hours. They have done a lot of their announcements for various things in their lives on their own and not through the show. And if you remember when Lauren gave birth to Bella, they actually chose to have Jill Duggar there or Jill Dillard there, which had a lot of people speculating that maybe Josiah and Lauren have grown closer to Jill and Derek and potentially might be thinking of also distancing themselves from the show. They aren't on the show a lot. They're not, they don't appear on it extensively. And Josiah doesn't seem to be super involved in the businesses that his dad has. So maybe they're just trying to branch off on their own. I don't know. But in terms of, are they going to get divorced? I doubt it. Is Lauren a miserable human being? I don't know. Um, she has, very reserved according to the source and do anyone does anyone actually like her i think it's more like lauren's just hard to get to know according to the source and that apparently some of the sisters can be a little bit clicky in terms of their relationships and i don't think that's uncommon in any family so what are your thoughts about all of this one that she walked away from someone speaking to her two <laughs> that she's quiet and reserved and three are they distancing themselves from counting on and will they be leaving the show? Tell me in the comments below. Bye guys.